Hype's thoughts on pro-Palestine protests leaked in new internal documents. As more of Hype's alleged internal documents are released, more information about the company's internal procedures and thoughts on various subjects are revealed. On November 1, an alleged employee seemingly shared a new set of documents online, sparking new controversy. Inside these documents were comments on various subjects, including pro-Palestine protests launched against the label's artists. Hype allegedly discussed these protests in a section about an Hypen's Jake, referring to an instance where the idol responded to fan protests. The company seems to have decided to wait for the issue to pass, as Korea is not involved in the conflict. Recently, there has been an intensifying political intervention campaign led by overseas fandoms around brands like Starbucks and McDonald's in relation to the Israel issue. Although I previously mentioned this, South Korea isn't a country involved in the conflict, so the wisest choice is likely to wait for the issue to pass. However, with the Golden Disc Awards as a turning point, Indonesian fans have been heavily promoting this issue to other fans on platforms like Reverse. There was even an incident where Jake agreed with a post by an overseas fan urging people not to support Starbucks, responding with a reflective comment, which has stirred some controversy. It seems, based on these documents, the actual issue of the conflict is not something on Hype's radar, but rather the potential issues that could arise from an idol under the label's acknowledgement of such issues. Netizens have harshly criticized Hype over the dismissive attitude in its stance. Hype saying that the Palestinians has nothing to do with Korea so they just want to wait for the issue to pass, and that Ivan's trying to educate idols about the boycott is demeaning to Korea fans is absolutely disgusting. Additionally, the document allegedly seems to admit that fans' posts on reverse mentioning Palestine were censored. Furthermore, after this issue arose, Reverse has taken a passive approach by restricting certain terms used by international fans in their coordinated campaigns. However, there was also an odd turn of events due to an Hypen's manager. In short, this became the Starbucks boycott incident. Apparently, an Hypen's manager posted a picture of a local coffee brand on their Instagram while in Jakarta, which international fans interpreted as support for the boycott. They responded with, Even the manager agrees with our stance. This then escalated into sentiments like, education is effective, let's work even harder, which has increased stress and anxiety for Korean fans. This served to spark more anger against Hype for allegedly silencing fans and the idols. So Hype is aware, and is actively silencing fans from speaking about Palestine on reverse. Oh seriously f*** Hype and I pray their downfall happens very soon. What are your thoughts on this?